we have Intel DX585MIS means intrinsically safe radio and we want to program it. So let's see the procedure. On the screen we have two programmers end user programmer and Intel programmer digital. So end user programmer is the software for end user to use it to add new radios or change the channels or change the button configuration whereas Intel programmer digital is for the distributors and resellers so we are going to use this program once the program is started it will check quickly if there is any update if not then it will come and stay on the screen so here we have support section and let's get started section under this section we have license wizard license free wizard let's look at license free wizard first so here we can create the fleet and these are the frequencies in megahertz so these are uhf frequencies and these are the models we can see in license free wizard since our model is not here in any of the given radios, our model we want to program this one is in the license wizard. So we'll use that license wizard. Exit yes. So license wizard, we have land and marine section. So let's go to marine UL913. So here we can find our model DX585MIS. So the number of radios we want to program is 5. So in new fleet we shall put matrix pride and then these are the frequencies UHF, VHF. We are using VHF. Our model is this one. The radios we want to program is 5 and coming to this side there is nothing to change so we press when I change uh, 5 I have to press tab so this button is activated so let's go to the next section now the wizard has automatically set some analog and digital channels so if any channel need to be changed you have to select here and then change it from here so let's use the default channels here go to next channel preset allocation it has the groups or ids or rx groups since we have made one group only so we leave it on the default use this alias for all presets so we are not writing anything let's leave it like this and we go to the next section and on this screen we shall use how we want to preset these buttons like here orange button short press change tx power level is already set that is this button then long press nothing is set we can press change tx power level which is already set on the short press so mute low battery scan on off scan memory so we we'll leave it uh, not set because if it is pressed accidentally then these functions will activate so i am leaving it blank upper side button which is this one this blue button short press we can set it to keypad lock long press to put it to change scotch level then lower button which is this black button short press scan on off long press scan memory so these are the presets we have used then up navigation key not set which is this key we can change to presets down navigation same way we have selected to change preset so it will be used to change the channels and that is all we press finish here so as we program the radios, it will capture its serial number and save here for all five radios. So now we go to save fleet and we save the fleet to matrix pride. Save in on desktop, save. Now we go to utility, programming window and connect the radio. So we open the cover, put the cable here 
and after putting the cable we on the radio so as soon as the radio is on it has automatically gone to the programming mode due to the reason that it is already connected to the computer and software is running so instead of reading radio we are writing radio so let's select number 1 radio and write so as progress is going there it is when it is 100% complete it is also showing a tick mark here so the radio has been programmed we switch it off and then if we will connect the other radio and follow the same procedure so now we have uh, a customers already existing fleet and they want the same frequencies for their uh, other vessel so we have their fleet file saved in our desktop we shall copy it and paste it again on the same location so it creates the copy we change the file name to new vessel name that is matrix pride p r i d t pride so we have matrix pride here so let's open the file now here we have six radios with same model 585 mis 585 mis so we have to remove one of the radio so we go to fleet delete radio and selected one will be deleted so now we have five radios in it 1 2 3 4 five so let's program them before i do it let me save it on the desktop matrix pride yes it's saved and then and then in fleet general information i will change to matrix p r i d e pride proceed now our five radios are ready to be programmed we go ahead and use utilities and programming window to program our radios so this is the first radio which we already programmed but now we are programming it again with customers already set frequencies so we put the cable here on the radio radio has come on and it has gone to programming mode automatically as we can see computer sign and radio sign and a connection between them and at the same time we see the radio and its serial number so if we read it it will save its own save frequencies in the system which we don't want so we want to program it so let's go to the first radio here select it and write so pay attention that the serial number here is the serial number for the uh, radios programmed before so as we write it again it will change the serial number of this radio into the file the serial number does not matter do you want to continue yes so radio has been programmed the progress bar has gone to 100% on the screen here we are seeing a tick mark on the screen which shows that the programming has been completed here and then at the same time we can see that the serial number of this radio has been updated there on the screen as well here so our first radio is completed we 
we are selecting the second radio from here and writing the configuration override yes so it is overwriting now it is completed we turn off the radio remove the cover this is the third radio we are programming third radio right yes the progress bar has reached to 100% radio has been programmed and tick mark is showing here this is our fourth radio we select radio number 4 right configuration override configuration yes it is 100% completed and we have seen a tick mark here so this radio has been programmed testing 1 2 3 testing 1 2 3 testing 1 2 3 testing 1 2 3 so our all 25 channels has been tested on this radio together with all other four radios so five radios are working on the same frequencies they are transmitting and they are receiving without any issue so that was all for this video